Today on Toy Shoes, we're going to strike first, strike hard, no mercy. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toy Shoes here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look. And today, we are totally checking out, this is a very real thing, the Playmates Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Cobra Kai. The various two packs features a turtle with, say, John Kreese here, Raphael on one side, John Kreese on the other, and then a bit of a, a story mashup. Now, I, before this whole thing, before I open these up, I watched the very first episode of Cobra Kai. I actually liked it, so I'm stoked with this. The Ninja Turtles do not appear on Cobra Kai for the Netflix show and the well, previous YouTube channel show, but it's actually not bad and i'm actually really interested in it now so i will be finishing it up the artwork on the back of the box is okay there's a lot of reuse here it's very simplistic art leonardo comes with miguel diaz for his two pack michelangelo is partnered up with daniel larusso which is interesting in the show right and donatello comes with johnny lawrence who actually i really like in there now Recently, Playmates Toys, especially this year, have been releasing a lot of Ninja Turtle figures, a lot of reuse, uh, repaints, whatnot, and totally really using other companies' style of packaging. Wink, wink, nod, nod. Playmates, don't do that. Do your own thing. It, it, it would come out so much better. Come up with like a really crazy cool idea because they're doing it much better. Uh, in all aspects, let's just be honest. And before everyone gets all huffy puffy, like, oh man, I can't believe Ninja Turtles would stoop so low to be Cobra Kai, right? This is not the craziest crossover. We've had Ghostbusters, Power Rangers, Universal Monsters, Star Trek, Batman, WWE, WWF. So before you go, eh, this is not the craziest we've seen, Ninja Turtles. Come on. As a Ninja Turtle collector, I like weirdo stuff like this to be honest with you so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee maybe trim up your bonsai tree just a little bit this is a look at the brand new teenage mutant ninja turtles versus cobra kai action figures by playmates toys and while i got all you cobra kais here i just want to say thanks so much for checking out my videos if you haven't already please do consider subscribing old toys new toys daily news updates guarantee you'll find something here that you like now we're going to kick things off with Donatello and Johnny Lawrence. Each of the, we'll say, human-type characters all share the same body. Johnny Lawrence, for the most part, in the head skull, the bandana, does look like his character. He's got a nice decal on the back, Cobra Kai. And overall, the, the figures are just, they're like, eh, you know, it's, it's a figure, right? A lot of the arm parts, especially when the wrists meet the forearm, looks like a doll and less of a human character. The gi is very malleable, very rubber, with a more plastic tie band right there. The articulation in the legs, you'll, you'll get some articulation, we'll say that. Some of them can be kind of loose, single-jointed knees, they'll spin at the knees, they've got toe articulation to them. Not much, not much articulation that you would think for a martial arts master right in that sense donatello is the same type of turtle that you've seen a dozen times now he's got his own little gi uniform a little turtle symbol on the front and on the back the weird thing about these turtles though is they all come with black headbands elbow knee pads the only way you can really tell it's donatello is by the staff bow staff right and then they have purple wrist guards it's the same exact turtle underneath. He does have weapon storage to him. Same exact articulation. Not bad articulation, although I will say some of the joints are kind of the opposite to Johnny Lawrence. They're very stuck. He's got finger articulation, holds the weapons, yada yada, waist. It's just re-releases, at least with the turtles that we've seen before, whereas the human Cobra Kai members... And that you know the karate kid are different new figures leonardo with diaz i mean again same exact sort of styling diaz i think looks more like the actor we'll just say than some of these other figures he's painted nicely he's got a nice face to him but a lot of the paint is missing in the hair especially when you start getting underneath towards the neck and such and yeah like i said they all share the same body types except for the paint and the heads are swapped. 
Leonardo, the exact same thing as Donatello. He has his weapon storage too. You can't really take that off. It's glued in, but you can put the katanas in. Raphael and John Kreese. So you have like really rude Raphael, right? And you got the evil villainous John Kreese. It doesn't look like the actor at all. It looks really odd looking. He does have some really weird hair gel going on. I guess it's to make him look older you know what i mean like give him some white in the hair the tattoo is applied nicely that's pretty cool other than that no paint on this guy cobra kai insignia on the back and he's got some weird plastic divots and such from the mold so yeah they're it that's the thing is that they're not the best to look at in terms of the odd things going on i mean Raphael's a crease on his nose they got all black weapons very light on the paint. The decals are all nice on the cloth goods, so I'll give them that. And since that, I mean, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Most of it's like, uh, you know, like, uh, this is tough to get through. Then you have LaRusso, right? Which, if that's supposed to be Ralph Macchio, uh, yeah, I kind of missed the mark greatly on that. I mean, the headband's the wrong color from the show. And the hair, because the hair folds over the headband, it doesn't look right. It looks like the headband's, it just, it's not sculpted right. He's got a nice decal, bonsai tree on the back. Same exact figure, he just comes in white. Also, the foot, the toe articulation was backwards on mine in the packaging. <laughs> so I was able to just kind of turn it, but it kind of messed up the foot a little bit, unfortunately. But uh yeah, that's not a close look for the actor. Michelangelo, same thing as the Turtles. Orange in some places. You know it's Michelangelo. He doesn't have any weapon storage, along with Raphael. So there's no place to put size or any type of the weapons, much like Donatello and Leonardo has. You could probably take these costumes off, but they're kind of glued on with the bands and everything else with the belts. So... <laughs> They look good all standing there together. Like, one thing I'll give them is that as a different sort of Ninja Turtle, I like the black headbands. I like these more crazy, interesting type mashups. I really do. But the $40 price points for these just is not warranted. All the Cobra Kai members, LaRusso aside, you know, they all look good together. But then again... You have to think about the price tag. There's no weapons. There's no extra hands. The articulation isn't great for what you think about when they're kind of fighting each other, doing the whole martial arts thing. You can recreate Karate Kid now, you know, Cobra Kai style, but it just doesn't look naturalistic, unfortunately. Scale-wise, I mean, they're along the lines of NECA toys, but they're a little bit taller. Even Vernon's like, yeah, I don't know about these, right? <laughs> but in all honesty, when I first saw these, I thought, you know, wouldn't it be funny if Cobra Kai was kind of run by Shredder or something like that? Having watched the show now, I have a completely different take because I actually know what goes on in the show. In all honesty, these figures are fun. It's kind of like, oh, wow, that's something different. It's outside the box, which I definitely like. But application-wise, how they turned out, the final versions of these toys, I cannot recommend these. These are just very humdrum, very much no efforts put in and they just did not come out the best type if anything i'll tell you to wait for clearance on these because again i really like these wild kind of mashups from the ninja turtles that's what makes ninja turtles ninja turtles they always do some kind of wackiness to them but this is really just the bare minimum that you could do but I'm curious to know what you guys think about these new Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles versus Cobra Kai figures. And thank you to Playmates for sending out two of the sets. I went out and got the other two. That way we could do this whole video. So thank you to them for supplying 50% of these figures. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, keep going. Keep doing these weird mashups. There's got to be more to it. Weapons hands if you're going to be charging these more premium collector prices there needs to be more in the box and they need to look a whole heck of a lot better and when they do let me know what you found i'll talk to you guys soon adios mm -hmm.